avenging blow to a close family. I'm trying to get her here. Because I want her here with me. Wanda Brown Steele grieving her daughter, Andell Taylor, who was only 22 years old, the youngest victim so far of the deadly winter storm. She went to Buffalo, New York to take care of her father got a job up there, went back to school. She got caught in that massive and deadly storm the day before Christmas. The details the family knows so far are hard to fathom. On her way home from work, and my daughter was talking to her up to, like, a little past, um... It's midnight. It was a group text between Andell and her sisters back in Charlotte. She had just gotten stuck in blinding snow that was piling up fast. I don't think none of us really knew how serious it was. At 4.13 on Friday, Andell texted this video, her window seemingly completely covered by snow. She was um, telling my sister that she was scared. Then just after midnight at 12.09 a.m. on Christmas Eve, Andell texted another video, inching down her window. You can see conditions completely deteriorated. Called 911 and she was waiting for them. At this point, her sister Tamisha says she began to get angry. She says it seemed no one was coming to her sister's aid. For everybody that tried to get to her got stuck. Fire departments, police. Why didn't they have chains on their tires? This is a state that's known for snow. This family says Andel was resilient and didn't panic. She told my daughter that she was going to go to sleep. And when she get up, um, she was going to try to start walking. That opportunity never came. After family in New York made two failed attempts to find Andel. I told them that they needed to go back out there again. That's when they bust the window and seen that she was in there. Some have theorized she died from hypothermia. Her mom thinks it was carbon monoxide poisoning. The snow was still coming, so it blocked the, the, um, the pipes. Exhaust pipe. Yeah, the exhaust pipe. It's a tragic chain of events sandwiched between Christmas and Andel's upcoming 23rd birthday. A lot of crying. That's it. Still got presents under the tree. It's so easy to ask yourself, why God? Why? But it's not always meant for us to know that answer to that. Before she was found, the family thinks Andel was trapped from 3 o'clock Friday afternoon until early morning hours of Christmas Eve. Right now, the family is trying to figure out funeral arrangements and getting Andel's remains back to Charlotte. But it's a hefty expense for them. If you would like to help, we have a link on our website at WKBW.com. Jordan Johnson, 7 News, Buffalo.